So the jab is among the most basic and potentially the most basic punch in boxing. Today we're going to be breaking down the biomechanics and the associated anatomy of the jab. Alright, so today we're starting with our boy Tony Jeffries. Okay, he's got a really good YouTube channel, he's a great boxer. Uh, that's going to be linked in the description below. Uh, so we're going to look at his, his jab first uh, and then stick around because we're going to look at Devin Haney's jab, uh, which is a little bit different and there's some differences that I think are important to note there. Uh, so make sure you stick around for that. But, and I also want to be clear, we're not, we're not looking at uh, what's happening at the feet. All right? So we would do that. We know that there's a step to close space whenever you're doing something like a jab. Uh, but the, the, you know, we're not looking at power for, or production here because we're forced production here because the jab is, is, is a quick shot meant to, or a quick punch meant to kind of set other things up uh, and make sure that you know, you're not being a lazy opponent. Okay? So with Tony, when he makes a big step and he extends his arm, I'm going to punch or I'm going to uh, stop it right there. There are several things happening here at the arm, right? So the first thing that's happening is we often say in the biomechanical world or the clinical world that the shoulder blade delivers the arm, okay? Without the shoulder blade moving, you're not gonna be able to throw a punch, okay? Really in any direction. So the scapula is protracting or laterally abducting if you wanna be really, it's more protracting here than it is laterally abducting, but that happens with the serratus anterior, okay? So as you move forward, or as you move distal from the shoulder, uh, you're actually extending the elbow at the same time with your tricep. Now the forearm muscles are mostly contracted isometrically to make a fist uh, with your forearm flexors, uh, but those are the two main muscle groups. So you have, you have your serratus anterior. Uh, you also have anterior delt that's flexing the shoulder. Okay, so I, I kind of skipped that earlier. So you've got the scapula that's protracting, as, you, as he steps forward and throws the punch, scapula protracts, anterior delt acts as a shoulder flexor, tricep acts as a elbow extender, and then the forearm flexors and the extensors are, are contracted isometrically uh, to create a fist so that all the force can be distributed down the arm and into the thoracic spine. All right, so he gives a couple of punches here, but that's a really, that's a really quick shot, I mean, as a jab is supposed to be. Okay, so now let's look at Devin Haney's, okay, because he's actually got a little bit different stance. He's actually turned to where his, his shoulder is more facing rather than the front of his body is facing his opponent. Uh, and you'll see here, you'll see something pop up over here that's just part of the video. Uh, but whenever he steps, okay, since he's got that side, and I'll punch, stop right there, he's really fast. Okay, nice step forward, really fast, closes his distance really well. But I want you to notice his shoulder blade is not actually protracting, like we talked about earlier, where it kind of comes up and forward. It's really, and he does elevate it a little bit, but it's really kind of going out to the side. That is true lateral, or lateral movement of the shoulder blade. And then, unlike with Tony's punch, his middle delt is actually doing most of the work here uh, to abduct the shoulder instead of flex, since his opponent is more to his side than in front of him. So we've got lateral movement or abduction of the scapula, We've got abduction of the humerus from the middle delt, and we have the same extension from the tricep, and then an isometric uh, contraction, nice isometric contraction for, to make the fist uh, to distribute force down through the thoracic spine. So this is actually a little bit more of a slow-mo video, so you'll see this a little bit better. Watch it one more time. Very good video. Quick. Shoulder abduction, medial rotation, or excuse me, uh, medial glide, or lateral glide, abduction, tricep extension, isometrics in the wrist. So as you can see, there are slight differences in setup that require a different demand from certain structures in the body with a quick punch like this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.